for me, effective therapy looks like moving from explaining to exploring. This is a, a kind of terminology that my mom's mentor, Yvonne Agazarian, developed. Um, but what it just means is, you know, we're very good at when we, we want to go towards explaining things. But if that's all we do in therapy, you know, tell our therapist, like, look, this is what I know about myself already. This is what happened. This is what she did. He did. I, you know, it's like just kind of like getting a story out. There's really nothing actually happening. <laughs> um, but if we can go into like a more exploratory mode, and this has to be trained a little bit, you know, it's like, um, but usually when I kind of help people get there, they're like, oh, like, oh, it's like they've never been in that mode with themselves before. Um, or maybe they've tried to analyze themselves, but when they use the word analyze, I know immediately they probably are off court pace um, because they, it's more like a heady, disconnected kind of thing. Um, but when there's a real chance for slowing down, um, noticing what's happening actually in the moment so it's alive and it's not theoretical about some other situation, but like, oh, right, I noticed we're talking about that and I just noticed right now I got tense. You know, it's sort of like right now I'm, I'm noticing getting confused or like, oh, okay, isn't that interesting? It's like really exploring it, um, what's happening, like as it's emerging sort of, um, gives so much more of a, like a clear perspective on how we're, we work and how we're wired. Um, and then just then letting the, it's almost like we have the information inside. We, sometimes people talk about in the right brain, like more of the right brain kind of stuff or the unconscious or whatever. It's really there. And this is really true because I see it all the time, but we don't always know how to access it. So if we, if I slow someone down and help them turn a little bit away from just the thinking part and more towards sort of the sensing part, you know, maybe ask for an image or just what comes to mind or what comes up. It's like, we call this bottom up processing rather than top down. It's like, what kind of just like comes up as a, as a realization or a memory or an emotion or like, Oh, I, you know what? I think it bothers me because of this. It's not like applying any theory. And then it's like just really listening into our psyche a little bit. What comes from that is much more truthful. Um, cause it's where all that memory and emotional memory is all stored. So when it comes to that domain, it takes a shift away from just kind of analyzing logical mode, but learning to get that information is really a big part of what therapy is. And once you're there, once you're in that process, it's just like, kind of like standing back and just letting the person's mind do it, what, what it knows how to do and needs to do, um, to kind of resolve or have a new insight. It's like, as it becomes conscious, then it's like ripe for, you know, a new insight or a new experience to emerge. Or like, oh, this is this part that never got support. You know, like if it's an image, say, and then another image comes like, oh, I just want to do this for it. And then a whole, like another avenue of like, um, uh, of like process around that emerges, you know, opens up that then they can do later, you know? It's like, oh, I can actually give myself, like for instance, with the self-compassion, like what would it be like to give myself compassion there? Um, so it's, I think effective therapy is very experiential in the moment. Um, and it's like really learning, not just talking about things you already know.